Uh, we'll just start in a cross-legged seated position, also known as easy sitting pose. If you need to raise the hips, you can place a block underneath them. Palms up or down on the knees. Lift through the spine, easy shoulders, the eyes open or closed. Starting right here, bring yourself to this moment, this space. Notice your breathing. With the lips sealed, jaw relaxed, consciously breathe more evenly through your nose. Creating even cadence. Making inhales and exhales about the same length. Making your breath expand more in every direction. Use this pace to guide yourself through your practice. One more cycle here. Open your eyes, and let's just roll the shoulders around. And taking them up by the ears, pressing them back and down. They go a few times in one direction. Arms will move too, they're connected. Okay, and then take it a few times in the opposite direction. And press your shoulders down. Uh, take note of which ankle you currently have in front. Remember this. Um, cross your legs, maybe give them a light shape, and then recross your legs, opposite ankle in front. Okay, we'll bring your arms forward now, um, wider than the shoulders, so make a V in front of you. Palms could face in. Uh, locate your shoulder blades on your upper back, they're like uh, pizza slices. We're going to try to isolate them now, okay, moving them in these uh, kind of uh, rotations. So start by elevating, lifting your shoulder blades up towards your ears, then retract them in towards the spine. Okay, depress the shoulder blades down, then protract them apart, reach hands away from you, jazz hands. Again, elevate the shoulder blades, retract them in towards each other, depress them down, protract apart. Keep energy in the arms, we'll reverse, retracting in, elevating shoulder blades up, protracting apart, depress down, again, retract in, elevate up, protract apart, and depress down. And you can rest your arms for a moment. Okay, and then just uh, setting hands outside your hips, reach your left arm up, Take a little side bend to the right, keeping your right hip grounded on the mat. And creating a stretch through your left side, breathe into that space. You could always move right hand farther from you if you need to. Another breath here. And your left waist helps pull you back to center. Left hand down, right arm up, longer through the torso and bending with control to the left. And now we're keeping the, the right hip especially anchored to the mat. Expanding your side body. Another breath here. Okay, right waist helps pull you to center, right arm down. Okay, so now working on a little more rotation through the spine and, and waking up the shoulders more. Take the arms forward, palms could face in again, um, about shoulder width. You're going to reach your left arm back. Okay, let the twist happen, turning your chest, maybe turning the head too. Then take your left arm up to the ceiling and forward. So you basically make a half circle. Now right arm reaches back. Sweep it up to the sky and forward to where you started. We'll do left arm again, reaching it back. Then up and forward, take up space. Then right arm back. Allow the shoulder to move as the arm goes up and forward. 
Okay, so then rest your arms. Uh, now just uh, lean back on your hands, stepping your feet on the ground in front of you, at least uh, hip width. Do some windshield wiper legs side to side. Let the pelvis swivel with your legs. Meeting in tabletop position next. We move on to all fours. Okay, so stack your joints so the shoulders are over the wrists, hips are over the knees. Spread your fingers apart so the hands cover space when they bear weight. Ground your base knuckles. Take an easy cow next, lifting your tailbone, lower the belly. For cat, round your back. Again, take cow, spinal extension, little back bend. Then cat, the pelvis tips back a little. Okay, come to neutral. And we'll take melting heart or puppy dog, keeping hips over knees, crawl the hands forward a couple steps. And you start to lower the head. Your head might lightly touch the ground. Stay active here, pressing your palms through the mat, lengthening the arms and torso. Stay active in your stretch. So you're not just resting in the shoulders, instead keeping them more stable. It helps to hug the front ribs up and in. Low belly tones. Okay, breathing and sensing the stretch through your shoulders and chest. One more cycle. And begin to lift your head, walking your hands back to a tabletop. Really stacking joints, fingers spread and mounds of the fingers rooted. Let's step one foot back at a time now for a high plank. Now waking up your center more, firm the thighs, keep shoulders over wrists, core intact. If you need less load, simply lower the knees behind your hips. Okay, so staying on toes or with knees down, look and lean forward. Okay, can you slowly lower yourself all the way to your stomach, controlling your descent? and untuck the toes. You just point the feet, keep your legs straight, and then reach arms um, out a little wide off your mat, make cactus arms. So bend the elbows about 90 degrees, palms could face down, and just look down to smooth out the neck. Okay, isolating the arms here and the shoulder blades, we're just going to lift the arms straight up and try to squeeze your shoulder blades in towards each other, wake up the upper back. Lower arms with control. Keep them in the same shape. And again, raise your arms. Squeezing shoulder blades inward. Lower smoothly. And one more time, lifting arms. You're squeezing shoulder blades inward. They're retracting. One more breath here. Then release. Slide your hands. Um, in towards you so they are outside the rib cage. Align hands under your elbows, keeping arms close. For low cobra, tops of the feet are heavy, hands light, lift your chest. Small back bend here, engaging the spine. Release down. Just take one more, low cobra. Mm. And you could stay in cobra. If you want to try upward facing dog, push your hands down to do more of a back bend. Lifting through the chest, shoulders do not shrug, thighs could float off the mat. Child's pose next. Big toes meet, knees at a comfortable width, ease your hips towards your heels. Keep the arms extended forward, stay active, hands and hips reach away from each other. Breathe into the back. And then placing hands by your knees, lift your head and chest. So come to kneeling, sitting on your heels. And if you need uh, less weight on your ankles, um, I would just do tabletop instead. Okay, so if you're in tabletop, shoulders are over wrists. Okay, if you're kneeling, we're going to place hands on the mat, um, just ahead of the knees, about uh, shoulder width. That's where my hands land. Keeping arms long to start. Okay, doing some rotation here. Uh, try not to turn the pelvis. If you're kneeling, the hips should be locked in place. But if you're in tabletop, you want to really keep the pelvis still. 
Reach your right arm to your right and place right hand lightly behind your head. Okay, now begin to turn your chest to the right. Think of raising your right elbow more, rotating from the mid spine up really. Then take your right elbow across to the pit of the left elbow. Again, opening to the right. Your hips don't turn, especially if you're in tabletop. Then take right elbow across towards the left. One more time. Rotating with strength, your breath might help you here. Take right elbow across to the left. Level your shoulders, untwisting to reset, right hand down. And give yourself a pause. And then left arm reaches left. Bring the hand lightly behind your head and we'll turn the chest to the left. Try to lift your left elbow and take it across. Left elbow towards the right. Again, opening left with control. Hips don't turn and take it across. Okay, really rotating through the mid spine. One more time, turning left. Take your elbow across to the pit of the right elbow. Level shoulders, untwisting to center. Left hand down, a pause here. Okay, shift forward into tabletop if you were kneeling. Okay, fingers spread apart and if you were kneeling on the you know, ankles for a while, you could lift your feet, roll the ankles around, clockwise, counterclockwise. Okay, return your feet to the mat. Tuck your toes under, hover the knees a few inches off the mat, pushing through hands, keeping your center awake, downward facing dog, raise the hips. So in downward dog, you have a pyramid shape in the body. Hands are pushing forward. You encourage more weight to the legs to find a better balance between your upper and lower body. You can always widen or lengthen your foundation, moving the hands and or feet. Hug front ribs in like you did in melting heart. Take another breath in downward facing dog. Now come up high on the toes. Bend your knees, take many steps to the front of your mat. Feet could be together or hip width apart. Half lift, long back, chest forward past the toes. Fold, hands down. Again, halfway lift, long spine. Fold, you keep the low belly toned, tone the thighs and rise up to standing. Circling arms above your head, hands to heart. And let's reach arms up, take up space, grow taller. Fold forward, hinging at your hips. Bend knees on the way. Halfway lift. High plank. Okay, we did this earlier, planting palms step back. Firm thighs. If you need to lower knees, you can do that for less load. Look and lean forward, lower all the way down. Untuck the toes, and from here, we're just gonna reach the arms back by your sides, palms face up, they face the ceiling. Uh, first, just lift your arms. You see how much you can bring your shoulders into extension. Try to press your palms on the ceiling. Now lift your chest. Okay, like a low cobra, engaging more of your back. Then we'll add the legs and feet, lifting everything for this locust pose. Back body strong. Another breath here. Okay, we're gonna slowly reverse. So you're gonna press tops of your feet onto your mat. Extend the wrists so fingertips point down and palms back. Bend your elbows, try to lift your elbows to plant hands outside the ribs. Okay, you could stay here, basically in low cobra, or go to upward facing dog. Engaging the back, downward facing dog, raise the hips. Settle in, hands are pushing forward, active through the shoulder girdle. 
front ribs, hugging in gently. Another breath. Lower your knees. Take child's pose. So hips back, arms could be forward. They could also rest back by your sides for a more uh, classic variation. Let the shoulders drape, rest your head. Take a few more breaths here. Okay, stay here as long as you need. Perhaps you uh, lift up and that completes our short you know, mindful mobility flow for the shoulders. I hope they feel a little freer and stable at the same time. Thank you for joining me.